So because because the so, concern people would have is as we've got, you know, uh, some people vaccinated, we may have to go all the way back to the beginning again uh, when we're so far from actually getting a substantial portion of the re- general population uh, vaccinated. So how then, Professor Gray, are, are, are the studies being pursued? What, what exactly are you looking at and over what timeline? So that's an important question. So, I mean, obviously we have to deal with the present, which means we have to start making sure our vaccine program is rolled out. We also have to keep our eye on the future and understand that there will be viral evolution and there will be um, issues around the durability of of any vaccine regimen. And so um, so while we're doing the national rollout, we have to answer critical questions for next year or the year after next. And so we are in a position to be able to start answering those questions um, with the Sasanki study. And so in this study, we'll be looking at 20,000 healthcare workers who received the initial A26 jab. And then after three months of having received the jab, is to randomize these healthcare workers to receive this Adeno 5 uh, booster shot versus placebo. And then to follow up these 20,000 healthcare workers to see whether the booster shot added value or not. Yes. And this is critical to know because we do need to make informed scientific decisions on on um, whether or not people require a boost. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.